Well, most of the snow from the blizzard earlier this month may be gone, but the impact from its runoff is still being felt. KX News meteorologist Robert Sir went to Emmons County, where flooding is impacting more than just cropland. High water levels have been documented all across North Dakota this fall, but farmers aren't the only ones dealing with problems. Water in Emmons County continues to rise. The city of Strasburg may be home to just under 400 people, but officials I spoke with tell me over 10% of the city's residents have had water in their basement at some point from groundwater seepage. Rick Keller does small jobs around town and works at Keller Hardware. He tells me they can't keep sump pumps on the shelves. At one time last week, we were completely sold out. We absolutely didn't have a single one. Um, they were waiting when the truck came. When the truck comes on Wednesday. There were guys waiting for the truck for us to unpack them. Then there's the elephant in the room, the town's slough and wastewater lagoon. Both have been dangerously high since late July. So far, the city has spent $58,000 to pump water out of the slough and were able to drop water levels nearly 50 inches by October 12th. That all stopped when the blizzard hit. And after the last couple of rains, our sewage lagoon started encroaching from the other side of town. So we contacted a contractor we and the health department and we agreed we had to put a berm up. In order to keep the lagoon in check, another $42,000 is needed to build an eight-foot dike. This uh, particular slough is where I played football in the late 60s. It was bone dry. So we've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. It's just one of the numerous issues Emmons County is dealing with this fall. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. And if that weren't enough, just getting to Strasburg could be another challenge. That's because Rice Lake has risen so much south of town, it is swallowing up Highway 83, forcing the DOT to do emergency work and raise the road two to three feet to stay ahead of the rising water. The mayor tells us he'll be declaring a disaster declaration next week in the hopes of getting some state aid to deal with all of those water issues.